Hello students, uh, welcome to the online session. Uh, hope all are doing well and uh, all are regularly maintaining your uh, class works. So today we are going to start the new session with the new chapter, that is chapter number 2 in the mathematics. Okay, that is algebraic expression. So you have already studied in your early classes about the al algebraic expressions. So today let us recall some of the things. Okay, so first let me tell you what do you mean by a constant. So, uh, any symbol which has a fixed value is called as a constant. For example, if I take as 4 root 3, 2 by 6, okay. So, this all are called as a constant because each has a fixed value. The 4 itself is a value, root 3 also, if you solve it, you get a value. 2 by 6, even you solve it, you get a particular fixed value that is called as a constant. So next comes what is the variable? So variable is a symbol which does not have any fixed value but some of the values can be assigned to this. This is called as a variable. For example x is called as a variable, x y is called as a variable, p is called as a variable, x plus y is also called Okay, so again this polynomials are divided into three parts. They are monomial, 
binomial and trinomial. That is, again the polynomial is divided into three parts. That is, monomial and binomial and trinomial. Okay. So, what do you mean by monomial? So, the word monomial in this mono refers to what? That is a single. That is the polynomial which has a single term. Then it is called as a monomial. Example, x or xy or 3x by 4. Okay. So, all are called as monomial because So these are called as an exponent or else this is also called as 
y square z cube 7 y square z cube you can see that the variables are different here you have x y and z are different variables so these are called as an unlike terms okay so the next let us see how how to do the addition and subtraction of this polynomial Such 
plus 8. To further simplify it, first let us combine all the like terms one by one. So it will be 7x. So which is the like term for 7x? So 7x and 3x, these are the like terms. So first I write that it is 7x minus 3x. Okay. So next like term you can see that 9 by 5 y. That is minus minus 9y and minus 5y. So the remaining is the, they are the constant they can see plus 3 and plus 8. Plus 3 and plus 8. See now it will be easy for you to simplify it further. It is 7x minus 3x is 4. 7 minus 3 is 4. 4x. So as per the rule always you should put the greater number sign that is for the job. Thank you. 